The NIPS laboratory is located within the physics department of the University of Perugia in Italy. NIPS is actually an acronym. It stays for Noise in Physical Systems Laboratory. Noise is what we are interested in. We have been working on noise for the last 20 years and a number of uh, scientists, experienced people, but also young students have given their contribution to the life of this laboratory. When people talk about noise, they usually think at acoustic disturbances. But noise in our meaning is actually much general. We are interested in noise in all its manifestation. For example, also visual noise. When you have a, an image which is blurred, or when you see a communication, television, which is not perfectly clear, or a telephone call where there are disturbances, distortion, or fading of the voice. These are all kinds of noises. But there are also other noises which are more fundamental in their nature. For example, the tiny vibrations of a physical object. The smallest object that you can imagine, like molecules or nucleus of atoms, these are objects that fluctuate all the time. Their fluctuation is a manifestation of the thermal energy or kinetic energy. And these fluctuations are usually perceived as a noise, as a disturbances, which appear, for example, when you try to do very precise measurements. For this reason, most of the people try to avoid it. At the NIPS lab, we have a different attitude. We consider the physical nature of noise and we try to understand if there is a way in order to better perform to make a good use of it. A significant example is noise in nanoscale devices. At the NIPS lab, we are working on an international project funded by the European Commission, which is aimed at producing a new conception nanoscale transistors. In such a tiny devices, the fluctuation present in the environment are employed in order to improve the performances of such transistors. So instead of trying to uh, build transistors which are stronger with more energy, we try to build transistors where the energy is provided directly from the environment. And the functioning of the transistor itself can actually take advantage of the presence of the noise. The Italian Institute of Fisica Nucleare together with the French CNRS, have promoted the realization of an experiment which is extremely ambitious. This project is called VIRGO, and the aim of the project is the detection of gravitational waves. Nowadays, there are different instruments, uh, similar in conception, which are aimed at this observation. These instruments are optical interferometers with uh, very long arms. The functioning of the interferometer is such that uh, it's supposed to measure, to detect a very tiny movement of the terminal masses, which are mirrors. In the presence of gravitational wave, the position of the mirrors is shifted by such a small amount that is a fraction, a negligible fraction of the nucleus of an atom. Such a huge sensitivity can be reached only if we are able to cool down any other noise. Specifically, the thermal noise is nowadays the main uh, limit to the sensitivity of this interferometer in a specific uh, frequency range. The NIPS laboratory is working on this project in order to reach such a very high sensitivity. When you participate to an experiment like Virgo, for example, that is producing a huge amount of experimental data, you need a very specific digital computer activity in order to extract out of the noise the useful information. Here at the NIPS lab, we have built a specific cluster of computers devoted to this activity. On one side, we have the digital simulation of the statistical systems. On the other side, we have the data analysis. Both these aspects are taken care of at the NIPS lab. We do physics for many reasons. The applications are outcomes of this research effort. 
In the NIPS lab, we have uh, designed and uh, prototyped new devices which uh, came out right from our basic research. In recent years, we have gave birth to a new enterprise called WisePower SRL. WisePower is a company, newborn company, that is devoted to prototyping and designing a new class of power generators. You can imagine a device that is so small that lives in an environment which is naturally noisy. Noise is everywhere in forms of fluctuations, vibration, thermal changes. So this device is as to be able to harvest energy where it is possible and to convert this energy into electric power.